persuadable it means that so your web content should be understandable by different types of people or different types of users web content should not be confused users while reading or getting the information from the website once the web content is ready then it has to be planned neatly to place the different types of web content at different locations inside a website welcome to bca classes i am ravi kumar kr lecturer in computer science vidyasham first grade college temple of excellence mysore students let us start our discussion with the concept web content management system in this session we are going to discuss about web content development and management tools content types and formats and norms and guidelines of content development these are the topics to be covered in this session students let us start with the definition of a content so what is a content a content is in general it is an information so we can have different forms of information so information may be in the form of text images audio or videos now let us see the definition of it so a content a is a data and it's produced through editorial process and ultimately intended for human consumption via publication so this is a content so it is nothing but an information and the information it should be intended for human consumption via publication now how can we get the information we can get the information or it will be available to the human being or to the users after publication or through publication and here so a cms a content management system is a software it is a software system or a platform used by organizations to manage their digital content and they are primarily across multiple websites also for other digital touch points so what is the meaning of here now you know what is the content and next one is cms or a content management system so content management system is a software now it is a software or a platform used by any company or organization to manage their digital content so what i am talking about here is content content is in the form of is a digital in content in the sense it will be information through a computer that is the meaning of digital content so how do we manage these type of contents of any organization so we have to go through or we have to make use of a cms which is a content management system or it is a software to maintain the digital content of any organization and here it is in the form of websites or multiple websites so this is the concept of content management system how do we manage the digital content in the next slide so here cms content management system is a software package that provide some level of automation to the task required to effectively manage the content so it is a software or it is a tool it gives a sort of automation of the data or the digital content and here it is usually server based or multi user software which interacts with the content stored in the repository so actually see this only a software cms is only a software which used to work with the contents contents stored in a repository in the sense the data of any organizations are stored in a place that is called repository so cms is a software which works with these type of content stored in one of the computer system so this repository might be on the same server or a part of a some software package or on separate storage facility and actually this cms it can be a server based also or multi user software you know what is server and client concepts here so cms is available through a server based information software and not only that it can also be on the same server as a part of some software package so this is about cms a content management system it is a software in the next slide types of content management system 
Now we know what is a content, what is content management system. Next, we will see different types of content management system. So first one is web content management system. So this is a topic to be discussed here. So web content management, it is a, a one type of CMS and enterprise content management and digital asset management and records management. See, these are all different methods of content management system. In the next slide, so here a web content, now I'm talking about web content. So what is a web content? It refers to the textual or visual content published on a website. Now we know what is a website. Website is nothing but it is a collection of web pages. Any website, it can be accessible throughout the globe through internet and what will be there in the website in the website of any company of any organization you can find different forms of information or it is information about their organization so that is a, that is the meaning of content here so that is also a web content i mean the content available inside your website nothing but web content so content means it is a creative element for example maybe a text application images or email messages, e-services, audio or video file, etc. So content can be of any of these forms here. So this is web content management system or a web content or digital data is nothing but a content that is and web content is nothing but the information or the data present inside a website. In the next slide, again, this WCM or WCMS is a software content management system specially for web content. Now we know what is a CMS, content management system, but here web content management or web content management system is a separate software, a platform for to manage the web content. It provides website authorizing, collaboration, administration tools, and that helps the user with little knowledge of web programming languages or markup languages, create and manage website content. So here, WCM, that is Web Content Management System or is a software, is going to provide, these are all the different tools available inside this software so that it will help the user or the programmer to develop their own website. In the next slide, now let us see what are content formats, what are different types of content or formats of content. See here, most of them have, this is called rich text data RTF format or some other interface element that allow editors to create format text and image. So these are the different types of formats available for web content. Next one is web content guidelines. Now, now we know what is the web content and to develop a web content or the web content or information to be placed in a website and for that there are certain guidelines or norms. So let us see what are all the guidelines for web content. So first one is perceivable. Users must be able to perceive it in some way using one or more of their senses. So whatever the content, this I'm talking about web content, it should be perceivable means it should be understandable by the users or different types of users with their senses. This is the first point. Second one is perceivable means it provides text alternatives for any non-text content so that it can be changed into other forms people need such as large paint, braille speech and symbols or simpler language. So what does it mean? Perceivable means it provides a type of text for different types of people. Different types of people, these are nothing but different scripts. It provides alternative for time-based media. So here in the first point we see it is an alternative for text. Similarly, it also provides time-based media. Create content that can be presented in different ways without losing the information structure. Means it is possible to present the data or web content in different methods with the definite structure. Make it easier for users to see 
and here contained including separating foreground from background. See, these are all the information to be followed while creating or developing a web content. So first one is perceivable. It means that so your web content should be understandable by different types of people or different types of users. Now let us see second point. Second point is operable. This is a second guidelines operable. What is the meaning of this? Here user must be able to control UI means user interface elements like buttons must be clickable in some way, mouse, keyboard, voice command, etc. Make all functionality available from the keyboard. So operable means the user must have or he can make use of different user interfaces in the form of mouse, keyboard or voice command, etc. This is the meaning of operable. So here it provides users enough time to read and use content. Advantage of operable, the meaning here is it provide enough space for it. Do not design content in a way that is known to cause seizures. So I mean web content should not be confused users while reading or getting the information from the website. It provides ways to help users navigate and find content. So your website or web content it should be in such a way that so the users can navigate to different types of content in a web page or in a website. Next guidelines is understandable. The meaning here is the content must be understandable to its user. So that is the basic concept of this. So whatever is available in the as a web content in a website, it should be understandable by the users. So make text content readable and understandable. So by using a definite pattern or a definite font or definite font size, so it should be in a position to readable and understandable by the user. So make web pages appear and operate in predictable ways. It help users avoid and correct mistakes. So here, these are all the points to be remembered. So this is another guideline understandable. Next one is fourth one that is robust. The content must be developed using well adopted web standards that will work across the different browsers now and in future. So this is also a very very important point or a guideline. Say, here, whatever the web content we are going to develop or it, that content available in the website, it should be developed with a definite standard by using a web standard or any of the tools which follow the web standard. That is very, very important and it should be accessible by different users or different types of browsers at different or maybe in future. So this is also important. Next, maximize compatibility with current and future user agents, including assistive technology. Assistive technology. So we have to develop a web content in such a way that it should be used in, even in future or with the future, we should be adoptable with the new technology in future. So these are all the guidelines. Now in the next slide, we will see the members of the CMS team. It means that who are all involving in CMS or content management system software. Here, first one is called editors and site planners, administrator, developers and stakeholders. So editors, editor is nothing but the one who develop or is to create a document or creates a web content. Next one is planner. So once the web content is ready, then it has to be planned neatly to place the different types of web content at different locations inside a website. It is another concept. Next one is administrator. Administrator is the person who is going to manage the website along with the web content. Next one is developers, that is the software developers, they are going to develop a website 
Next one is stakeholder, nothing but users. So who are all the users for your website? See, these are the different people involving in content management system. Students, so in this session, just we have given the brief introduction to web content management and web content development. We'll continue our discussion in my next class. So in the next session, we are going to talk about the web hosting concept. Thank you very much.